what is up? So um, I've never made a video about this thing. This is a uh, Chemex, and it's kind of that traditional pour over style coffee making. So basically with a normal coffee machine, you know, it's just putting water into a bed of coffee and it funnels down and drips into uh, what could be like a vase or whatnot. But um, in this case, it'll, it'll fall up at the bottom right here and we pour it into the cup. Uh, water is warming up right behind it. I got some beans from Colorado and uh, yeah, we'll grind it up in my hand grinder because I don't have a dedicated grinder that's not my dialed in express machine at the moment. So we will just use a hand grinder and just talk about stuff while we wait. So there are very specific recipes for the Chemex, I'm gonna keep it real plain and simple. I'll just double whatever I use for espresso. So for espresso, I use 16 grams. We'll do about 32 grams for this. That is, if this thing will even hold 32 grams. It might. It should be 32. Come on. That has to be 32. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So this grinder takes a minute to, to grind. Here we go. Just uploaded another music related video. I also have a video about all the other shoes in my collection that are not music related. So that, that video is already done and everything. I'm just going to upload it. I'll be traveling to San Diego on Wednesday. So there probably won't be too many videos uh, after today and tomorrow, but I hope to capture some footage while I'm in San Diego because I've never been there before. I also want to start recording videos on the car. And uh, if y'all don't know, I have a 2023 Toyota VR86 in its track red color, but it's also a base model, and I don't think a lot of people have the base model, especially in red. So it, it, it should be interesting to see uh, what people think about that. I don't know if I want to record a skip or not, but I feel like I kind of have to because I'm going to be talking about very specific things. And I don't want to sound like a broken record. But yeah, the only footage I think I need is some um, point of view footage like you're seeing right now, but I'll be putting the phone on my head so you can see what it's like to actually drive it. And then uh, maybe some static footage around the car like on a tripod, the showcasing like very specific things about the car. And like how, what it's like to get in and out of it and stuff. What it looks like, what the engine looks like. And all that other fun stuff, you know? <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I need, I need to get a, I need to get an actual ring. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, getting a hand grinder. Water's almost done. And this thing is messy too. Like there's shards of beans like everywhere now. All right, so what I like to do, I like to kind of, well, you know what, before I even do that, 
This thing's been sitting up there for a while, so it's kind of dirty, so I'll just run some warmish water over it. Try to get any dust out of there. And then we'll kind of warm up the Chemex with some piping hot water. Make sure we hit all those edges. This is why you really want a uh, kettle to do this with. So you have really nice granular control of the water in its flow. All right, so Chemex is warm. Let's, let's finish this up. It's so messy. Alright, well that's a mess I gotta clean up later. So, when you're using a Chemex, you want a filter, right? So I should have my filters in here. These are Chemex branded filters. This is gonna smell like coffee now, for real. So when you unfold these, right? So there's a fold right here, and then you can like separate them up here. You wanna start with the fold area, and then like get three layers. So one, two, three. And then when you open it up, see how it makes this uh the shape, this funnel like this. And then what I like to do. I like to have the the end with the three layers uh, right in line with the spout because what's going to happen is that physics is going to suck this layer into here and you want it to kind of vent so to try to avoid any of the any uh what do you call it uh what's the word i'm looking for it, in, in other words to to make the brewing as best as it possibly can be you just want the thicker end of whatever filter you use to be where the spout is. Well, just keep it simple. <laughs> All right, so let's pour this out. And some people like to rinse the filter too. I don't. I don't do that. I'm sure it has benefits, but I don't taste those. All right. So we get those three layers, like so. Pour our ground beans into there. A bit, retain, bit of retention. Okay. Woo! It's quite a process. I rarely. <laughs> I rarely make anything with the Chemex because of that grinder, so I need to get a purpose grinder. Okay, so we've got the Chemex. we got our bed of coffee right there. I got quite flat. And now we simply start to pour. You'll see it start to bloom and stuff like that. Um, let me turn this so you can hopefully get a better angle. But, so they call this phase zoom, fusion phase. It's kind of doing like a swirl. You just get to bloom a bit. It smells really nice. Can y'all see it okay? It's so hard to see the screen with this chest mount thing on. So now we got a little bit of coffee dropping in there. Uh, a lot of people call this first part the infusion, the pre-infusion phase or whatnot. So um, after a couple of seconds, I don't know the exact timing, we'll start to pour more. So I'm looking at the edge of the glass, and I'm just going to fill up until I'm about a few centimeters away from filling it out at the top. And there you have it. So I'm just going to let this go. I probably want about maybe a cup and a half. I don't know. What, what kind of cup am I going for? Um, 
maybe a glass cup. Do I have a larger glass cup I could use? Hmm. I'd rather do a glass mug so y'all can see the color. It's not the largest, but we'll use this one. This is one I usually use for expressos and whatnot. It's looking good. It's looking, it's looking like coffee. <laughs> Like I said, you, you can get very scientific about this. I'm just doing this the most basic, simple way. Whatever just works for me. But if you want to know more about using Chemex, how to get the most out of the Chemex, there are many, many other videos out there. E even with my espresso stuff, I'm not that scientific and specific about things. I kind of just do... I kind of follow a general principle, and then I, I just make it taste good. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna let this drain out all the way, and uh, and yeah, but yeah, remember y'all. So uh, we did the last pods review video, so that's good to go. And uh, recorded the snake bag video just went live at the time of this recording you're looking at. Um, make sure we got a good flow there. Yeah, we're good there. Um, yeah, the GR86 is next in line for a series of videos, unless I just go all in on that one video. I think I, think I can go all in on one video. Uh, what else? Yeah, we got the non-Yeezy shoe. Uh, not even a review, just kind of a showcase, just showing all what other shoes I got in my collection. I don't have a lot of shoes, honestly, so I, I have very unique, just different pairs of shoes. And um, yeah, maybe a San Diego video as well. We'll see. I'll be there for four days, I think, for conferences and, and whatnot, so it should be fun. All right, we're good there. Let's go ahead and grab the creamer. Some half and half. Uh, what's the date on this actually? March 6th. I, this has been in there for a minute. It smells good. It looks good. Okay, we're good. So we did Kramer and we'll do vanilla bean. I really like that vanilla bean uh, syrup. Uh, let's grab trash can. Just put a new bag. Okay. All right. Take this. We'll extract just a bit more. Toss that. And you all got it. Can y'all see that okay? Our freshly brewed Chemex coffee. Maybe it might be a bit on the lighter side. Might be a bit on the lighter side. Yeah, it's a bit on the lighter side, but yeah, it's very dark, but a bit of fruit too. Yeah, it's exactly how they uh, how they described it on the um, on the bag. It's incredible how you can make flavor profiles like that. So we'll dump some half and half in there. And I typically don't put sugar in the uh, in the coffees, but I do put the syrups in there. Do a full pump in there, and use my maca spoon to mix it all up. And I'm about out of this half and half. I should toss it anyway. Oh wow, yeah, that's really good. That is so, so good. All right, y'all. Well, that is your Chemex, your Chemex brew or whatever. Here's your thumbnail, <laughs> unless I take another one. But anyway, thank y'all for watching as always. Um, hope you all enjoy the video and all the other ones we have coming out. And uh, yeah, thank y'all. And uh, editor Josh here, uh, just so people aren't freaking out that the other half and half was a little bit weird, um, I put, new half and half in the next uh, cup. I didn't drink all of the other one. 
Uh, there was definitely something off about it. Uh, hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all for watching again, and uh, yeah, appreciate it.